The reason why I use one inch or less of soil and then capped with two or more inches of sand is because I'm trying to replicate the natural substrates of streams, rivers, lakes, etc. Just like at a beach, the sand filters the water when the waves wash through. Sand is a natural filter and contains all the beneficial bacteria that help the breakdown of organic matter to maintain a stable aquarium environment. Now to explain why a deep substrate plays a crucial role in promoting aquatic plant growth. A deep substrate provides a nutrient rich environment for plants to flourish in. As organic matter, waste and dead leaves, leftover fish food and other organic materials that are decomposing in the water will accumulate in the substrate layers over time. This is also referred to as mulm or detritus. The mulm will eventually make it through the sand layers and into the soil where it gets further broken down by different bacteria then becomes nutrients for the plants to absorb. That's why it is key to add a handful of leaf litter to your tank that you can find from any body of water such as a creek, stream or river. Just make sure you are collecting old decaying leaves that sit on the bottom of the water you are collecting them from. By adding leaf litter in small amounts every month, you're slowly building up the food web by adding decomposing matter on top of your substrate, which again eventually become nutrients or fertilizer, in other words, for your aquatic plants to consume. Don't forget the biodiversity on the leaf litter that's adding to the aquarium environment. I go more in depth on this in my diversity video, which I'll leave a link for in the description below. Another reason why deep substrate is beneficial for your plants is because it helps keep the roots anchored so the plants don't get uprooted. The roots grow deep and laterally. The deep substrate also provides a medium for gas exchange, which is essential for the plants to breathe and carry out photosynthesis. The first step to creating a natural ecosystem in your aquarium so it becomes self-sustainable is to have a deep substrate. I haven't done a water change on any of my tanks ever and they stay crystal clear. One of the main reasons is because of the deep substrate. There's obviously a couple other factors to consider but that will be in my next video. So subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out when I upload my next video. Now I'm going to show you a quick example. In this picture you can see that brown line between the black and white sand. That's uh, the, uh, actually the detritus or mulm that is uh, slowly making its way through the layers. And that is again going to be the nutrients for your plants to uh, grow. Well, that's all for now. Please like and subscribe.